What's up guys, it's BoxMail23 here and today we are back with another prediction video as this is one of my most popular prediction videos that I'm going to make on the channel. As these two individuals are very iconic in their respected series as they are battling it out to see who will win. As these characters are both very powerful beings in their respective universes or could possibly be in the same one or should I say in the same multiverse Anyways, let's debate on who would win in a battle between Bill Cipher, the gods he reality warping Meat Dorito from Gravity Falls, or C-137 Rick Sanchez, the smartest man in the universe from Rick and Morty. Now I have talked about Bill Cipher in the past when he fought against both Mephilus and Alistair, if you want to check those videos out, link in the description below, but if you want to know more about Bill, I'll be happy to explain again. Bill Cipher is known as a triangular dream demon and is also the main antagonist of the Gravity Falls series. Bill Cipher is a triangular interdimensional dream demon who formerly existed only in the Mindscape before gaining access to the real world. But Bill Cipher first appeared in the episode Dreamscaperers when Gideon Gleeful, a former antagonist, summoned Bill into our world as he only wanted a combination code for the Mystery Shack. As Bill possesses the ability to access people's minds unless it's from a deal. Bill also wants to connect the Nightmare Realm to our world with the rift to unleash his weird Mageddon across the town of Gravity Falls, and he has the ability to crack space and time. Bill Cipher obliterated the second dimension simply because he was bored, and now wants to rule over our new world while causing havoc around the town of Gravity Falls, and wanting to spread his chaos around the rest of the world and multiverse when being freed by Ford's equation. Bill Cipher's abilities are portation, Blue fire slash deal making, fire, electricity, time manipulation, space manipulation, mana manipulation, size manipulation, weather manipulation, dots here reality warping, clairvoyance, cross dimensional awareness, illusion manipulation, intangibility, lasers manipulation, teleportation, shape shifting, nightmare manipulation, pyrokinesis, telekinesis, regeneration, levitation, possession, weirdness attraction, summoning, telepathy. Soul Manipulation, Creation, Transformation, and Super Speed. The journals in Gravity Falls state that Bill Cipher is a major threat throughout the multiverse, as this easily makes Bill Cipher a multiversal plus, and physical form Bill Cipher just a low hyperversal, aka high complex multiversal, making Bill Cipher 4th dimensional to 11th dimensional. While Bill Cipher is a being with godlike powers, there are four ways in defeating Bill Cipher. Number one, as Bill Cipher does have weaknesses as hitting or spraying his eye does stun Bill for a bit as he slowly regenerates his eye. Number 2 is using the quorum stabilizer gun which can one shot Bill and possibly kill him. Number 3 is spraying the zodiac wheel with elements around the wheel as it's known as a prophecy in defeating Bill as it consists of a number of people to hold hands around the zodiac wheel to send Bill and his demons back to the nightmare realm. And number four, to defeat Bill Cipher, you would need another person to use the memory gun to erase Bill from the said mind, as you must convince Bill in wanting to go into your mind, as he only wanted an equation from Ford to be free from Gravity Falls to access the real world and to escape the Gravity Falls natural law of weirdness magnetism and to break the barrier that's keeping him in Gravity Falls. But you must trick Bill into entering your mind, but the main issue with the memory gun is if you use it on yourself, then it will erase all of your memories. So tricking Bill into your mind can only work if he wants something he seeks, but if he is trapped in the mind, you need to erase Bill along with sacrificing your own memories in the process for it to work. Because as soon as the memory gun is being used, it's too late for Bill to escape. But overall, Bill Cipher is a very intelligent being, knowing lots of things, as Bill Cipher isn't easy to beat being a 4th dimensional dream demon, and being a big threat towards Rick Sanchez. Alright, listen up you one lifespan, 3 dimensional, 5 cents, skin puppets! For 1 trillion years I've been trapped in my own decaying dimension, waiting for a new universe to call my own! Name's Bill! But you can call me your new lord and master for all of eternity! Richard Sanchez, also known as C-137 Rick Sanchez, is one of the main protagonists of Rick and Morty alongside his grandson, Roy Smith. 
Rick Sanchez is a high intellectual scientist and basically is the smartest Rick there is, or the smartest man in the multiverse. Rick and Morty both go on adventures to either visit a world or a dimension and has encountered powerful beings such as the Phoenix Person, the President, the entire Rick kind, and with Zeus himself in a one-on-one. -on -one. Rick has also faced against smartest beings such as the Zygerians, Zig, Evil Morty, and more. But they still get outsmarted by Rick, like how the Zygerians need the ingredients from Rick so he can leave the virtual reality worlds that was inside another virtual reality, and it goes on. Zeep is one of the smartest people Rick has encountered as he created a team universe inside his own universe and how it's a never ending loop as how Rick and Morty in entered his own universe and is known as their savior just so they can power his ship. Evil Morty is more of the shady character in the Rick and Morty universe as his plan was attempting to escape a never ending cycle where as the Ricks put together an existence for the Mortys of the multiverse to always be enslaved to their respective grandfathers. Rick can also turn into Pickle Rick only to get out of therapy sessions and how he managed to take out a society with a laser gun that can vaporize anyone with ease and managed to go on a one-on-one -on -one with Jaguar who wasn't easy to beat. But Rick has fought a godlike being as going one-on-one -on -one with Zeus as we saw that he didn't stand a chance against a god, but yet he wasn't prepared to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the god, as he did manage to get hits on Zeus. If you don't know, Zeus is the god of the sky in ancient Greek mythology, and Zeus is considered the ruler, protector, and father of all gods and humans. Zeus is often as an older man with a beard and is represented by symbols such as the lightning bolt and the eagle. But in the end, Rick wasn't a match for Zeus, so he was hoping to come up with another plan until Morty and Summer came and defeated Zeus with Rick's airship. Rick has also outsmarted the Rick kinds and even the devil as C-137 Rick Sanchez is known to be the smartest being in the known multiverse. Rick has an iconic portal gun which he uses to transport him throughout any place he desires especially when him and Morty are in trouble to escape people such as the Rick kind soldiers by traveling through other planets and reality and trying to escape them. Rick's abilities. Rick's main ability is his IQ and his battle IQ even though Rick is the smartest at preparing for any encounter. He's also a master of combat as fighting off the people during the purge when they had nothing on them, but mainly inventing his weapons like the portal gun to open a portal to another dimension or another world throughout the multiverse as he tried to get away from the rare kind from being captured as opening a gate of portals to try and fool them as it does work for C-137 Rick. Rick has electrifying bombs when he was in the purge Locker shoes when facing against Phoenix Person, Freeze Ray, a gun that can freeze organic life forms immediately, a neutrino bomb, an extremely powerful bomb with enough to power to destroy an entire planet, a shrink ray, a gun that is able to shrink a target down to the size of a molecule. He also has one that can enlarge a target on his sight. Meesix Box, a device that has a button that summons a creature known as Mr. Meesix, and Meesix can help you with a task that user wants and won't stop until it's done. Rick has created high-tech weapons such as a laser gun when he was Pickle Rick, a crotch gun when he fought Toxic Rick, but basically whatever Rick sees he uses that as a weapon. Even turned his ship into a person but still follows all of Rick's commands as without Rick it, it tends to turn into mayhem. But overall C-137 Rick Sanchez is a powerful individual and can use his knowledge as his advantage to try to outsmart Bill and this is definitely Rick's biggest test to see if he can end the dream demon once and for all. What the hell? What what happened back there? Why don't you ask the smartest people in the universe, Jerry? Oh yeah, you can't. They blew up. Uh. 
Both Bill and Rick are very intelligent beings in their universes, as Rick must find a way to defeat him, as he would have no idea how to beat Bill, as in a one-on-one, -on -one, it would be hard for Rick to win if it was like the Zeus situation, how he didn't come prepared to face Zeus in a one-on-one, -on -one, as he nearly was gonna get killed by Zeus, until Morty and Summer drove the ship through him, as this wouldn't help against Bill, because unlike Zeus, Bill regenerates on any body parts, like when Ford shot the quantum stabilizer gun on his top hat, as it didn't affect him, but what we do know is that it had to be dead center in the middle, exactly where his eye was, because the reason Ford missed was because he was distracted by a talking bell from Bill's Weed McGannon effect. But Rick wouldn't have any idea in defeat a more powerful being like than Zeus, as Ford is the only person who knows Bill's weakness. But doing any damage to his eye, like shooting or spraying Bill's eye, can stun him for a bit, which can give Rick time to craft any weapons, as the other ways in beating Bill would consist of a third party, like with the Zodiac Wheel and the Memory Gun trick, would consist of someone from outside help to erase Bill if he is in Rick's mind. Rick would not be allowed to call in a third party such as Morty and Summer to help him to defeat Bill. So the Quantum Stabilizer is Rick's only way in defeating Bill in a one-on-one, -on -one, only if Rick can figure out Bill's weakness. So in a non-prep time situation, Bill would win against Rick easily, if Rick doesn't know much about the Dream Demon as Bill would know exactly about Rick, as Bill is the Eye of Providence, also known as the All-Seeing Eye of God, as this makes Bill Cipher Night Omnipotent. But if Rick has the Quantum Stabilizer, then it's another story, meaning that Rick wins in a prep time. As the journals have been lurking around the Rick and Morty universe, as that definitely helps Rick, as Rick can also shoot a portal into Gravity Falls as it's possible to enter the Gravity Falls universe as the Easter eggs in Rick and Morty prove it all. More information on that is in Matt Pat's Rick and Morty and Gravity Falls crossover video. Both Bill Cipher and Rick Sanchez are powerful beings in their respective universes as Bill Cipher is a chaotic god like Dream Demon while Rick Sanchez is the smartest man in the universe who has taken on an entire government race and outsmarted them. But in my opinion, this fight is a 50-50 because this fight can have two different outcomes depending if there is prep time or not. Oh, and before I forget, the C-137 Rick Sanchez I'm using is from Season 1 to 4 and I will be excluding Season 5 Rick as in Season 5 Rick, he is powerless and need and needed help from Mr. Nimbus to escape, but the fact is, the foes he encounters easily defeated him. Even Morty was more powerful than Rick in that season, but anyways, back on the topic. Rick would have to know Bill's weakness during their fight, because if he doesn't know, then Rick will lose, because there is no other way to beat Bill Cypher. But this is definitely Rick's strongest foe yet, even already encountering a god like Zeus, but Bill is more powerful and would be harder to defeat than Zeus. Before anyone says that I'm biased towards Bill, or that I hate Rick and haven't watched Rick and Morty because I know Rick can stop time as well when he was having a party before Beth and Jerry got home, and yes, there are other abilities Rick is capable of, but the truth is, can Rick outsmart Bill? Because Bill is Knight Omnipotent and isn't falling for anything except if you look like Stanford Pines. Huh, now Rick dresses up like Stanford Pines, just imagine if Rick pulled that off. Anyways, we are going to the results. The results. Strength goes to Bill Cypher because he ripped a leg off the Shaktron and used a giant fist and smashed the environment around him while Rick has been jacked before when he was beating up the devil along with Summer. Speed goes to Bill Cypher as in an instant went from being with his demons to being in front of Dipper making him massively faster than light. While C-137 Rick travelled the universe in his spaceship as the space cruiser is easily a faster task for Rick to get from point A to point B. 
Intelligence goes to Rick Sanchez. As C-137 Rick Sanchez is easily the smartest man in the universe or multiverse and has outsmarted an entire government based on the Rick kinds, Bill is not omnipotent, knowing lots of things but falling for some tricks like the switch clothing trick to defeat Bill. Battle IQ goes to Rick Sanchez. As Rick takes Battle IQ because he's experienced more in battles and fought a god for both governments such as the President of the United States and the militaries and the Rick Kynes and plenty more foes than Bill Cipher has because Bill has fought a Shaktron, that's pretty much it. He hasn't fought any entities on his level, I mean even the Zeus in the Gravity Falls universe was afraid of Bill's powers. Combat goes to Rick Sanchez as Rick takes combat due to him going up against the Devil, Zeep, Zeus, the President and more. Durability goes to Bill Cipher because Bill Cipher is galaxy level as for Rick was shot in the liver and sur still survived and was punched in the air by Morty's muscular arm. Agent experience goes to Bill Cipher as Bill Cipher is over 1 trillion years old while Rick Sanchez is 70 years old. Powers go to Bill Cipher because Bill easily takes power because of his ability to reality warp, control time, space and matter, soul manipulation, telekinesis, and the list goes on. Weapons goes to Rick Sanchez as Rick takes weapons as he's always carrying weapons on him during a battle if he either has to craft it or has it already because even when he was Pickle Rick, he managed to make a laser gun that can vaporize people in an instant. But this fight is definitely tough because it could go either way. But in the end, if it's no prep time, then Bill Cypher wins. But if it's prep time, Rick has a chance of winning if knowing Bill Bill's weakness, but as of now, I say Bill Cypher wins, but it could go either way as it's too close to call. But what do you guys think? Do you think Bill Cypher wins or Rick Sanchez wins? Comment down below. Other than that, it's been your boy, BoxyMail23, signing out.